Hey y'all, check it out, here I am in the heart of Deep East Texas. I pretty much put my garden to bed for the winter. It's a real quick little winter, but it's gone nighty night. I just have a couple more things to, to harvest and uh, cauliflower, a couple big heads of cauliflower, and I decided to make one of my favorite dishes, bangers and smash. Yeah, I'm going to use cauliflower instead of potatoes and uh, <clears throat> going to make it Texas style. So if you want to see what bangers and smash look like, Texas style, you're in for a treat. The kitty. Well, hey, little kitty. How you doing? You been taking a dust bath? You're kind of filthy. You're filthy. That's why... That's why you live outside. You're a filthy cat. I love you. Meow. Yeah. All right, check it out. Got my garden beds pretty much asleep here. Got them all covered up with straw, kind of Ruth Stout style. And if you don't know who Ruth Stout is, she's the uh, Grandma Moses of organic gardening. A really interesting lady. She just buried everything in straw. Man, another beautiful cauliflower. And... Uh, Take a peek at this. Now you can eat these greens, they're really good, but uh, we're just gonna eat this cauliflower today. Here, take a peek at it. You see it? Look at here. All right, now this is what I mean by Texas style. I'm gonna use some smoked sausage and I'm gonna drink some beer from Shiner, Texas. That's right, these are smoked sausages. I'm gonna have a little garlic and uh, turmeric uh, Lee Cole's ground cumin seed there, a little pink kosher salt, and a whole mess of black pepper. And uh, I'm going to drink this beer. Yes, delicious beer from Shiner, Texas. And of course some food glue to hold everything together. You can use whatever kind of glue you like. Alrighty then. Now, I suggest if you're going to chop up the cauliflower, you use the biggest knife you have. Where'd I go? Come on back. All right, here I am. Now, just take a nice big whack and chop it all up. You don't have to be real fancy with this, just uh, be violent. Lots of uh, large knife chopping. Don't need that core there. And uh, you don't have to be very uh, fancy or particular. Just chop it all up. You're going to steam it up and then smash the bejeebies out of it anyway. So here we go. Into the pot you go. Yes. And uh, that's what it looks like. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of water in there to steam it up. And a little salt, maybe. And uh, put this off on uh, heat, medium heat, for about 12, 10, 12 minutes. While we're waiting, I think I'll try a beer. Scheinerbach. Mmm, here's to you. Ah. Uh, Delicious. All right. Just a few more minutes. And uh, what the hell? Mmm. 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 Delicious. All right. Okay. Got this cauliflower ready. Let's give it a peek here. Steaming pretty nice. And it's tender to the fork. Oh, yeah. It's definitely ready. Yeah. Yeah. It's ready. All right, now you can uh, dump this whole mess into your food possessor and uh, swirl the bejeebies out of it, but I don't want to turn it into a white slurry, so I'm just going to use this old-fashioned hand jangler and uh, do the uh, manual smash. And uh, it's, uh, it's ready to smash, and it's looking good. Now, I like it lumpy and bumpy. You can get it as smooth as you want. This is looking good, breaking up nice. And, uh, yeah, look at there. See, that's looking good. Now, I'm going to put off some uh, garlic in here. You can put a bunch or as little or as much as you like. A nice big heaping spoonful there. Looks good. Now, a little, little turmeric. Now, this is just, uh, it's good for you. And it's going to give it a nice uh, appetizing uh, golden color. And then uh, some Lee coal. Ground cumin. Can't get the cap off here. So I'm just going to shake, 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 shake your cumin. A little more. Shake, shake, shake. 
Yes, very good Texas seasoning. And then some uh, pink Himalayan salt. Not too much. Okay. And then uh, some crushed black pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Crush it, crush it, crush it. Crush it, crush it, pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Shake a, shake a, shake a. Pepper, pepper, shake, shake. Pepper, shake. Mm-hmm. All right. And then some food glue. You can use just about any flavor uh, cheese you like. Uh... I'm going to go with this cheddar here, and uh, yeah, just go for it. I'm going to save a little bit to uh, decorate the top after I put it off in the bacon dish. Now, just give this all a good stir, incorporate the cheese and the seasoning off in the cauliflower and the smushing and the smashing, and that's looking pretty good. Yes. All right, here we go. It's coming together pretty good. I think I'm just going to add a little bit of whole milk, just a little splash, to keep it from drying out when I bake it in the oven at 400 for about 35, 40 minutes. That'll make it all nice and golden brown and yummy. Boy, this is smashy, smashy, smooth and lovely. Okay, get the uh, spectacular spatula and... Uh, just totally get it all mixed together here. Man, this is smelling good. It's looking good. It's actually looking perfect. All right. Now, you're going to want to prepare your little cooking dish, baking dish, a little bit of oil. Brush it around here so we don't get any little burn-on, stick-on, stuck-on little bits of smash there. That ought to do it. Okay. Now, just dump off this uh, smash right off into the dish. And, uh, by golly, it, uh, it's going to fit in here just perfect. It's like I planned it. Yeah, one big head of cauliflower fits this uh, bacon dish. Just perfect. All right, here comes the uh, Shiner Texas Smoked Sausage. And uh, fits in there good. Now I'm going to decorate it with that last little bit of cheese. Shake a, shake a, shake a. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right, shake, 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 shake it like a Polaroid picture, shake, shake, shake. All right, goes in the oven, and pow, it's already done. How about that? Didn't make you wait. I did drink a beer while we were cooking that. Look at it bubble. Can you see it bubbling? Mm-hmm. Here, look. You see it bubbling? Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. All right, all right. Just set this down here. Okay, let's give this stuff a try. Let me get my sausage extractor here and uh, grab a hold to one. Oh, yum, yum, get it better. Here we go. Yes. And, all right, I put, all right. And some smash. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh, that smells so good. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Oh, mm, that smells good. All right, let's give it a try here. Oh, yeah. Wait, put a little crushed red pepper on it. Just make it a little extra zingy. Uh-huh. Now, I hate to eat in front of you. Wow. Man, that's good. Yes, it's really good. You should give it a try. You could do this. Hey, I'll see you next time in the garden. Mmm, yum, yum, yum.